As you walk down the basement stairs at the museum, you'll find this giant model of the Swedish ocean liner Kungsholm at the bottom. It's been in this spot since 1951, and given its size and weight, I doubt it will ever move anywhere else. It's larger than most other models you'll ever see. A typical plastic model of, say, the Titanic that you might buy from a hobby store is usually 1 to 570 scale, shrinking that ship's 882 foot length to about 18 inches. This model did not come from a hobby store. In fact, it was specially built by engineers from an original copy of the ship's builder's plans. It uses a 1 48th scale, meaning that one inch represents four feet, so the level of detail is incredible. Look closely, and you can count the planks on the deck and all the tiny pulleys on the ship's lifeboats and cargo cranes. If you get down on your knees, you can actually look into the large open promenade decks and see the sashes on the interior windows. It's pretty impressive. So why is it here? This model was ordered in 1928 by the Swedish American line as a giant advertisement for the Kungsholm before she began sailing. It was delivered to their New York offices shortly before her maiden voyage, and for several years was displayed in the big plate glass office window overlooking Fifth Avenue, on full view for everyone to see. After the liner was retired, the Swedish-American line loaned the model to the museum and donated it outright about 40 years later. Both the Kungsholm and the museum were built to celebrate contemporary Swedish life and historic legacy. When the Kungsholm arrived in New York Harbor at the end of her maiden voyage, the press dubbed her a floating museum of Swedish arts and crafts. Although the ship's interiors adhered to the new Art Deco style, they incorporated reinterpretive forms of 19th century furniture, peasant textile designs in the carpets, and golden murals depicting the history of Swedish seafaring and historical ties with America. The Kungsholm helped feed a growing appetite in the United States for Swedish and Scandinavian design, decades before IKEA was even invented. The artists and architects of the museum looked to the ship as an example of how to combine historic influences with contemporary design, and sometimes directly copied those ideas. Some of the craftspeople who worked on board the Kungsholm contributed objects to the museum collection as well, so the next time you come to the American Swedish Historical Museum, take a moment to say hello to this wonderful model at the foot of the stairs. The museum owes a lot to this ship, so it's worth a look.